20% of Brits who viewed a house in the last year felt the same thrill as when meeting a new lover. I know what they mean. The last time I went house hunting, I came away with a semi. 33% <laughs> of Brits say they like their smartphone as much as they like sex. For me, they're both similar, about five inches long, and they've seen more than their fair share of angry birds. <laughs> And Mexico City is the worst place in the world to be a commuter. Especially for me, I work in Shepherd's Bush. <laughs> right, well, I can't put it off any longer. Let's get started. <laughs> so what's the big Olympic story this week? Well, they've given us a, a sneak preview of the Olympic opening ceremony, which is going to be a pastoral scene of old England by Danny Boyle. Having an open ceremony seems sensible to me. You invite everyone, you have a big party, you go, hey, it's starting. We're spending the same amount on a closing ceremony, which is after everyone's going to have come here, beaten us at all the things we do, <laughs> and then we're going to thank them with a big party going, oh, safe journey home. <laughs> Sodder. At the end, we should just switch, <laughs> switch everything off and say, right, piss off, find your own way home now. <laughs> it's a solid idea, yeah. really boring full stop <laughs> and what is the Olympics gonna do for us what, what's it all about I I don't know what <laughs> I don't know where to begin <laughs> but how is it gonna change our lives it's not, it's not gonna change your life no no <laughs> it's not gonna change my life you know we've got the football we've got the tennis we've got dancing on ice what more do you need <laughs> <laughs> The, um, well, Theresa May's going to get rid of the Asbos because she says they're not working, so we're going to have Crimbos, they're called. Because <laughs> all the papers have done now is it's an excuse to get out all the stories. Because the Asbo did some good stuff. I mean, bad people were punished as a result, but there were some silly ones. And my favourite was a woman who got an Asbo for screaming too loud during sex. <laughs> which is embarrassing for her, but for her husband, what a story that is. <laughs> I'm joking, fellas. I banged her so hard she got arrested. <laughs> do you have asbo? You don't have asbo in Ireland, do you? No. I but you were asking Kate Humble if she had an asbo. <laughs> <laughs> you You've ask? been pestering animals again. Yeah. And apparently, I'm now going to get a crimbo as well because you can get a crimbo for having an untidy garden. Really? I'm not quite sure who's going to judge whether your garden is untidy or not. I don't think it means but... brambles, it's things like sofas and fridges. Well, I can imagine your garden would be very well kept. Tell <laughs> 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 you that, there was nothing rude you're in that. So... <laughs> What's the matter with me? I can't even can't say even that. Say something simple like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so is yours? <laughs> is your garden overgrown, Kate? I would say it's just pleasingly wild. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, if you want to watch full episodes of 8 Out of 10 Cats, then you can on my YouTube channel. Um, just, you know, search for it on YouTube and you'll find it because it's there.